Despite making five unsuccessful attempts at becoming the president of Nigeria in the past, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar is expected to toss his heart in the ring once more in 2023. With so many formidable opponents already campaigning, the 75-year-old seasoned politician, who is no doubt desperate to unseat Buhari, is facing intense pressures from all angles. While consulting with leaders, media mogul Raymond Dopesi is storing all 36 states and Abuja to solicit support for the ex-vice president, especially he has been begging the Southeasterners that Atiku will only serve a single term. The last thing the former VP needs at the moment is the distraction of the marital drama, but like the usual twist of fate, this is the only news of Atiku making waves so far. It all started on January 25, 2022, after an exclusive report from the People's Gazette gave Nigerians the scoop that a politician who claims he can get Nigeria to the promised land sadly has his own home on fire. The reports detailed how his fourth wife, Jennifer Douglas Abubakar, filed for divorce and fought him over their properties in Nigeria and Dubai. Instead of laying low, Jennifer, who has been instrumental in establishing his university and past election campaigns, has responded to the report by opening a can of worms. While denying she divorced the Waziri of Adamawa over his new wife, she mentioned that she left because he wasn't supporting an extended stay in the UK to look after their kids who need their parents more than anything. The Igbo beauty, who is still in her 50s, also noted that her ex-husband has been threatening her life and that of her children and relatives ever since, adding that he is the reason she fled Nigeria and would be staying away from the country for a long time. With all these dreadful details about the presidential aspirant out in the open and his ex-wife gone, it looks like many Nigerians are having a change of heart about him. And we cannot help but ask, is this divorce scandal setting up Atiku Abubakar to fail in the 2023 polls for the sixth time? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. They say behind every successful man, a woman is pulling all the right strings behind or beside him. In the case of ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the person has always been Jennifer Douglas Abubakar, his fourth wife. Like many Muslim men, the Waziri of Adamawa has nothing less than four wives. In 1971, he wedded his first wife, Titi Abubakar, followed by Ladi in 1979, Princess Rukayatu in 1983, and then Fatima in 1986. He later divorced Ladi, his then second wife, and then remarried Jennifer in the 90s. Jennifer Douglas Abubakar, ni Iwenjora, is of Igbo descent from Onisha in Anambra State. She started her career in the 1980s as an NTA news journalist before moving to the US for further study, where she backed a law degree and became an American citizen. Today, she is the famous managing partner at Mieti Law and editor-in-chief of the Mieti Quarterly Law Review. She reportedly first met with the ex-VP in 1982 and later married him eight years later. Following the consummation of their marriage, Jennifer embraced Islam and changed her name to Jamila. Together, they have three kids, although Jennifer was previously married to a man named Douglas with whom she had a son. Regardless, Jennifer has reportedly been the confidant of the Waziri of Adamawa among his wives and her duty as his wife go beyond just tending to the kids and the other room. She has been very active in all of her husband's campaigns and used her influence as an Igbo to convince her people in the southwest region to vote for him every time he contests. That's not all, an expose by Sahara reporters detailed how she allegedly helped her dear husband launch $40 million into the US, which was later used to build his higher institution, the American University in Nigeria. However, whatever pivotal role Jennifer must have played, it has all finally come to an end as the Igbo beauty, who is proudly in her 50s, has filed for divorce and left him with a messy scandal at a time that doesn't need it. In the past, 75-year-old Atiku Abubakar ran for the presidential seat unsuccessfully. Before becoming a vice president to Olusha Gwamba between 1999 and 2007, he contested in 1993 presidential election under the Social Democratic Party SDP, and lost the election to the late MKO. Again in 2007, he contested under the defunct Action Congress and lost to the late Omar Musayar Adua. In 2011, he contested under the People's Democratic Party but lost to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan at the primaries. In 2015, he contested under All Progressives Congress but lost to incumbent president Buhari at the primaries. Again in 2019, he contested under the PDP but lost catastrophically to Buhari. Currently, 
There are indications that Atiku will be coming back to contest the presidential seat for the sixth time. While he is yet to declare his ambition, according to him, he has begun consulting with top leaders. Media mogul of Dark Communications, Raymond Dokwesi, has begun touring all parts of Nigeria, including Abuja, to solicit support from electorates for Atiku. To show how desperately Atiku wants the presidential seat, Dokwesi has been begging Southeast leaders to support Atiku because it will make an Igbo his running mate and will only serve a single term before handing over to an Igbo president. However, this election promises to be the fiercest ever in the country's history. Nigerians are willing over the country's poor state and insist they won't vote for desperados or anyone with Buhari vibes. People like Afe Babalola have said Atiku will never win and Shei Makinde has urged electorates to only vote for candidates with the physical and mental capacity to run the country's affairs. With Atiku not showing signs of either, Nigerians are blowing real hot on him and making matters worse, his scandalous divorce from his ex-wife is about to ruin his remaining chances. Talking about divorce, the People's Gazette had on January 2022 informed Nigerians that Atiku's home is on fire after Jennifer, his fourth wife, filed for divorce for marrying a new wife. They reported that the two were in a heated war over properties in Nigeria and Dubai. The story went viral and many put two and two together, stating that Jennifer, who has been putting in all the works, feels cheated, especially because the Moroccan new wife will end up being his first lady should Atiku become president. However, on February 2nd, in a lengthy statement, Jennifer has cleared the air, giving more horrific details of how it is all going down. She explained that she had long filed for divorce since June 26, 2021, despite the mediation attempt of her husband's friends. She further noted that the Moroccan new wife isn't why she filed for divorce, but a disagreement over her continued stay in the UK. She said she needed to play the role of a mother to her children, who had mostly been abandoned with her elderly sister who recently passed on, but Atiku was displeased over that. So, she decided it was time to end the marriage. However, the ex-vice president who doesn't want her to leave has been frustrating her, barring her from taking over the Asokoro house he bought for her. In retaliation, she took over their house in Dubai. Consequently, he filed litigation against her, impounding all their cars in Dubai and threatened her life, that of their kids and her relatives. So, she exited a law firm in Nigeria, sold all her assets and moved to the UK for fear of her safety. With so much pressure for the 75-year-old former vice president to show his leadership competence at the presidential level, this divorce scandal is certainly not what he needs right now. He had begun to ruin his reputation and has so far been a distraction for ongoing campaigns for his yet-to-be-declared presidential ambitions. With Jennifer gone, it may also be challenging for him to get the support of the Igbo people of Nigeria. From the look of things, this scandal may be setting him up to fail at the polls. What do you think about this divorce scandal enveloping Atiku Abubakar? Do you think it's been a distraction for the former vice president's campaign and maybe set him up to fail at the polls? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.